Hey guys, it's me, Monkey Jugging here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna play some Don't Starve here, Reigns of Giant. Um, me, personally, I just recently got this game on the Steam sale, so I'm excited to play it. Um, quick little, I guess, backstory. I have played the, I guess, the, the beta version of this one or something. Um, it's uh, basically Don't Starve Together, where you're able to play with your friends. It's different from Reigns of Giant, because there's different ways that you do things, so it should be a new experience. I guess let's go ahead and start this thing. Uh, new game. Oh, Reigns of Giant's DLC on uh, Carrot. Okay, it looks like these characters like locked off to us. I guess we gotta play more of the game. Okay, apply uh, world. Autumn, winter, spring. Oh god. I only think there's like winter and summer in, in the other thing. What are these things? Like lightning and stuff? What the hell is that? Oh, I don't, okay, I don't wanna mess with that at all. We'll just leave that default. Um, yeah, I'm gonna screw myself even more by wrong clicking something. Let's start this thing up. Oh wow, that's an awesome screen for generating the world. Wow, most of the time it's just like a bar or something. This is really cool, I like this. Okay, uh, oh, creepy scary guy. So pal, you don't look so good. Uh, you better find something to eat before night comes. Well, why don't you freaking help me? Okay, cool, just just run away, whatever, okay. Uh, let's gather some of these flowers, I guess. Um, hey, Mr. B, how you doing? Okay. So I have played a little bit of this game. Um, not personally Don't Starve, but Don't Starve Together. There's, I, it's the same basic concept, but there's a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, so the first couple things that we're gonna be doing here is getting some of these basic resources that we're able to pick up, gathering some food and whatnot. Um, what we're gonna have to do is try to build some of these tools. And for that, we're going to need some flint and some sticks. And it looks like there's plenty of sticks, but not that many flint. Hmm. Oh, there's a rock that has flint in it. So if we're able to build a pickaxe, right? Yeah, we'll be able to bash up that thing and make the other tools. Okay. So we'll have to remember that. Uh, pick these berries. Good. Okay. Hey, little bunny rabbit, how you doing? Let's come down here. There's plenty of flowers. Oh, look, there's a butt. We're able to like jump in and like teleport around the world and stuff with that. Ooh, seeds. Mine. Okay. Uh, get this carrot. Look at this flower. Uh, let's look through this patch because uh, we want to find a place to live and for the most part you want to live by a source of manure or poop, whatever you want to call it. And the two main sources of manure is beef loaf, which is like cattle in a way. That's what they look like. They look like a bunch of cows. And pigs. Okay. And beef will only really spawn in these hay parts of the world. So we have to look for those things if we want to find some uh, beef loaf for their poop. Okay. Brick road is usually a good sign of something. Uh, follow the gray brick road. Yes, follow the gray brick road. <laughs> Songs. Oh god, red freaking tree. That's new. Um, bunch of bees out here. Hello bees. How are you doing? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, this is uh, this is a source of marble, which is like a good thing. We're able to make like super armor. I, at least I think so in this game. Um. And with that super armor, like, it, we move slowly, but we're able to, like, take way more damage, which is good. Let's come in down here. Some carrots. Hello, carrots. Hopefully we can find something else that's just as good. Hopefully find something amazing, like a beefalo patch. Oh, definitely will be though. Maybe some carrots, some other things. Okay, so we got about half day left. Oh, there's another rock. That's good. Um, let's kick sticking. Let's stick to this path. Still no other flint. Oh, God, a swamp. Swamps are where some really scary stuff goes down. Like that's a tentacle right there. Those things that come out of the ground and they try to hurt us. Want to avoid these things at all cost. Isn't sick. Okay. Is that frogs? Oh god, that sounds like an alligator. I don't know half the creatures that are in here because there's a difference between uh, oh there's another butt uh, between the Reign of Giants DLC and uh, the beta version of Don't Starve Together. I imagine eventually they'll probably make another DLC pack or something where like they'll bring the Rain of Giants DLC into it. But yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a rock. There's another rock. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. We can do some stuff with rocks. No flint though. A lot of rocks on the ground. Makes me wondering where the hell the flint is. Because we can't really make anything without pigs. So cool. I wonder if I can move that wrong. One single. So I'm guessing if I open that up, I'll like fall into a void or something. So I think I'll void open any of that. Um, what can I make for fire? Okay, I could make some torches. 
What do I need to make these things? I need wood, and I need an axe. Can I make an axe? No, I can't. I can't make anything. That's sad. Why does it say I can make something? Hmm. Ooh, thrust thing. Can't pick up some more of this stuff, because we're going to have to make some torches when nighttime comes. So our hunger's not too bad. We have a decent amount of little food here. Uh, I really want to find some flint. We got tons of rocks. These rocks mean nothing to us. Nothing without flint. We need this flint. Another scary biome. Oh, look, a pig set. Yeah, that's really welcoming. Nothing says welcome home like a uh, rotting pig's head on a stick or spike. Whatever's more appropriate. What are those things? Those are mushrooms. Okay, those are not flint. Flint look a little bit shiny. Oh, God, spider dens like crazy. Oh, pig houses. Hey, piggies. How y'all doing? Another frog head. Okay. Um, things. Uh... Okay, so we got some berry bushes down here. That's good. At least we found one of the sources of poop that we can do. Basically, we can uh, we can feed these pigs some. Ooh, a nice little patch of flowers. Hmm. Nice. That's always good to put like a bee box next to, because uh, the you need like a certain amount of flowers in order to produce a certain amount of honey, and I think you need like the max is like four flowers. Ooh, two patches. So if we were to put a bunch of bee boxes down here, we could potentially have a whole bunch of honey, which is good for like healing and stuff. Okay, some more of this. At least nighttime is going to be short. That spider's right inside the den. Okay, look at this guy. Um, okay, so that's our map tab. Uh, still nothing down here. There's a green crap. I guess I'll pick up that guy. There's some more flowers. Oh, I'll pick this. Hello, birdies. How are y'all doing today? We personally are still looking for some flint. It cannot be found anywhere at any given time. Wow, if we need this for tools to just like do stuff, they make it pretty different. There's another freaking rock. But we need flint in order to break into the rocks. Ah, where's flint? Come on. Can't do anything. Oh god, it's about to get super dark. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do is just stand out here in the open because I have no idea where to go. <laughs> I've been everywhere, man. Okay, let's go and make this uh, this torch. Okay, there we go. It's super dark. Um, for now, I guess I'll leave this area be because there's nothing for more for me to do here. I'm just gonna follow this path because for the most part we've seen this path and it was safe for the most part. Um, so I'm hearing a lot of scary things. Ooh, come on, we can make it. I believe in us. Make it through the scary swamp at night. How's our torch doing? Okay, we're at 60% pretty much. Uh, we might have to make another torch, I'm not sure. We have the materials for it, correct? Yes. And we can make another following torch after that. Oh god, that's not a very happy noise now, is it? Just keep walking, just keep walking, walking, walking. Oh. <laughs> this is not a happy place to be. Okay, we're at 30%. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to make another torch. Um, let's go make it. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna be kind of looking at that torch to make sure as soon as it goes down, we'll be ready to equip the next one. Because if you don't have light during the night, you die. Scary things attack you. Okay. Okay, ready. Oh, it auto does it. Okay, I didn't even have to do that. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, and look, day's about to come right now, too, so we're not gonna even really need this thing for much longer. Good thing we made that second one, though. Wow, the swamp just seems to keep on going. Okay, we've already been through here, so we're not really missing much. Uh, let's unequip that torch. Another little carrot there. And some more berries. Come on, we need some flint, dude. Where's this flint at? We really need some. We're at day two, and we barely... Oh, my God. There's there's two flint right here. <laughs> just right off the path. Of course. Of course there is. Oh, uh, just... Oh, Nice. A blue dart. Cool. Oh, that's only good for one use. Okay. There's even more flint. Oh my god, it was right outside the path this whole time. Okay, so let's make that. Ooh, we need more sticks. Okay, let's grab the stick. And with that being done, let's go. Come on, let's build that X. There's even more flint down there. My god, they were all right outside the path. Now let's mine out this rock. This way, see, there's even more flint. 
Good, we can make all the tools that we want right now. So now we don't have to worry about that stuff. We can worry about that later. Now anytime we see a rock, we can stop by and just mash it all up to freaking high heaven. These berries. How's our hunger doing? Not too bad. We could probably wait until tonight before we have to worry about it again. A little flower. Freaking turkeys, dude. They eat all the berries. They're the freaking worst. Okay, how's our sandy doing? We're actually at full sandy dude. Nice. I don't have to worry about anything. Can't pick up more berries. Yeah. Pick up more flowers. Oh, we can make something. We can make a garland. Oh yeah, that's good, uh, that's good for the nerves. Oh look, we got some stuff up here. Well, if when a person dies, you know, it's uh, bad news for someone, good news for someone else. Another pickaxe. Nice! Man, things are... This next day, I thought this was going to be a freaking tough place to live. Man, we're thriving right now. Man, we got all kinds of things. This is awesome. Okay, cool, cool. So, what do we need for a campfire? We're going to need some woods. We're going to have to chop down some trees. Okay. For now, I think we're just going to go to move on. I think what we might do is make a base down there by those pig guys. Just for the reason being that they have um, they have those flower things, which is really awesome for uh, making those bee boxes. Which we're gonna have to destroy some of these hives to do. So yeah, that's gonna have to wait a little bit until we can get some armaments and some weapons of war. Okay. Um, how far does this road take us? Okay, so this red brick road right here is all the way up to here. Uh, okay. For the most part, I think we'll just follow it for now. But eventually we're gonna have to diverge because we need to find some source of gold because we need to make a science machine and in order to make a science machine we need gold so we need to find it we can either find like the pig king and then feed him like meats which is basically like dead pig which is kind of funny you can feed the pig king pig and he'll give you gold for it or uh we could find some tokens and treasures and stuff and feed that to him or we can find some rocks mash those up but they have to be special rocks. They have to be... There's more flint right freaking there. Now they're just rubbing in our faces. Um, <laughs> we can find this uh, these rocks with the gold in it. And we can get anywhere between like one and three gold from each of you. Each individual rock that we break up. Okay. Uh, oh, look. Here the great... Oh, look. Random piece of gold just laying on the ground. Oh, another... This seems really dangerous. Um... <laughs> this seems super sketch. There's just like a, a breadcrumb trail of gold in a spooky graveyard. Oh, we might die here. I don't know. Um, yay, free gold. Oh, oh, planks of wood. These things are actually really good. Okay, I'm going to drop this because that's really bad for your sanity. Okay. Well, I guess that's good. We now can make a science machine. You have no place to live. Oh my god, here are these things. These are, this is the area, this is like the, the biome that has all the, the rocks. This is the rock I was talking about. What happens when I'm in that? Pick up ice. Uh, I don't know if this ice goes bad when I drop it. Oh, I guess it does like melt. Eat ice. Well, that's good for my hunger. Oh, oh, maybe it's for like the summer or something. Remember those biomes that we seen? So maybe that uh, keeps us warm during the summer or something. Okay, cool. Uh, some more gold. Nice. So far I haven't seen the spooky monsters of this biome. They're like tall birds or something. They're like one hit you if you get close to their nest. Okay, well at least we have a source of gold up here. So now we need to hopefully find some beefalo. Okay, we're definitely going to make a campfire, so I guess let's go and start chopping down some trees. I was, oh, there's another freaking little guy over there. Uh, no, I have an axe, right? Here, let's go and waste up this one. Uh, these trees are really freaking small. Is there, oh, here, let's just take this uh, place all the way down and we'll find some bigger trees, because I think the bigger trees gives you more wood. Okay, here we go. This guy would be good. Okay, so we need to find one of those... Uh, I don't even know, hay biomes or something? This way we can get some stuff out of them. Oh, we don't even have inventory slots. Okay, let's plant this. Uh, what should we drop? Um, here, let's eat these seeds. Okay, there we go. Plant the tree. Okay, pick up the one. Okay, we can make... Oh, eat this. We can make that thing now. Oh, we can even make a fire pit here. Okay, so we have enough logs to go ahead and make a, a big old campfire. Nice. Ooh, some more flint. 
Need that for some tools. Man, I told you. <laughs> now they're just rubbing in our faces. They're just putting flint everywhere. <laughs> like, oh, you get some flint. You get some flint. Battery, you want to get some flint. Oh, freaking D-bags. Okay. Oh, there's another little grassy biome. But it's not like a hay biome, which we need to find. Okay, let's shut down this guy. Let's go and plant. Oh, I guess I just dropped it on the ground. Whatever. All the same stuff, right? Did I just plant that tree in freaking... Rock. <laughs> uh, okay. We really need to find a source of beef low. Ooh, more flint. Oh, I guess that behind it. Oh, God. Just litter the ground with freaking flint. Uh, okay, let's build our little temp campfire right here. Let's get super dark. Hey, Mr. Crow. How are you doing? Let's pick up this. Let's pick up this. Oh, looks like we get another pine deck. Okay. Hmm. So, I guess uh, let's go in and cook up some of this food. Let's cook our carrots, I guess. Get some cooked carrots so we get some more hunger out of it and whatnot. So, so far, I guess things are going good. Nothing's really uh, gone wrong, per se. Uh, besides that first day, we couldn't find any flint, and now the game has just decided to rain flint upon us. Because now we freaking have 13 flint for no gosh darn reason. Did our axe break? Where'd that thing go? Yeah, I don't see your axe anymore. I guess that's gone. Okay. Oh, I guess our hunger is full. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so we make this science machine now. But once we place it down, we can't pick it back up. So I want to find some source of poop. I'd prefer not to live next to the pigs for the only reason that we'll need berries for them. And the beefalo, we could just walk up and just shear them. And we could just pick up their poop without really worry. But I guess living down by those beefalo... Oh, God, it's going really dark. Um, add some more fuel. That should be enough. Um, there's the beefalo. we got to worry about some stuff. Because uh, it looks like there's a lot of spider nests down there. Because I know there's like some here. They're not showing up on the map. Hmm. I know there's some down there and there's like a couple down here. So that's something I gotta worry about. But they do have some good stuff down there. So hmm. If we can't find like a significant source of beef low or something, I guess we'll choose that as like our secondary location to live. It's kind of far away from everything, but at least has a road of access right there. Oh, and another issue um, with the whole pigs. Or oh, look, see, this shows the spider down. Why didn't it show it down here? Hmm. Oh, uh, the issue with the whole pigs is when it's a midnight thing um, right here. Honestly, I can't see if there's something there in my way. Oh, uh, disappear. Yeah, right here. See how it's blink? If that turns into just like a solid moon being there, that means it's a full moon. And if any of those pigs are outside when that happens, they turn into were pigs and they basically just try to kill us, which is bad. So we have to avoid those guys. Okay, I don't even mind our fire is about to go out. Okay, there we go. Um, yes, let's pick up these seeds. So you don't. Can I? Let's go this way. We need to find a wheat biome. Even more freaking flint, dude. Wow, they just love to rub it in our face. Um, oh, nothing down there. Uh, so I think we're pretty much at a dead end up here because the world doesn't seem to really go on. It just seems to kind of end down here. So I guess... And there has to be beef flow in here. There has to be like one thing with everything. So I'm going to guess the beef flow may be down here or something. Maybe they're in this area. Um... I don't know, because this seems to just kind of go into the midst of nowhere. This biome seems to just go on forever. So I guess let's head back down, and hopefully we'll find some beef low or something. <laughs> that tree just grew. Oh, God. There's another little sinkhole thing. Did that just expand? Am I? I don't think... It's like cold. I want to avoid that thing. <laughs> We're ready for it now. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's the dead guy that we picked up. Some grief. Oh, yeah, if we get a shovel, we're able to dig those things up. Oh, did we detour off the path here? Yeah, we did. Okay, let's keep going down this uh, brick path. We detoured to pick up that other stuff. Follow the brick road. Follow the brick road. I imagine this biome would lead into, like, um, a hay biome or something. It just looks like it would, doesn't it? Where it looks kind of hay if you know what I mean. Oh, why are these red camps? Oh, there's hay up there. Oh, what the hell is this? Okay. Hand flute. Oh god, what the hell? Um, okay. Crank thing. Okay, well that's something. A lot of evil flowers around here. Uh, let's eat this carrot and I guess pick up this axe because we said we needed one. What does that axe have? Oh, that axe has 100%. What the hell is this thing? Oh, I guess that, uh, that's some more of the. What did I say it was called? Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Marble. There we go. Oh, it's a rundown shack. I think mer people spawned from that thing. 
Oh, a bunch of little pigs down here. Hey, piggies. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of pigs. Maybe there's um, a pig king down here.